Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Smith Jetstream TT Aero Helmet. For those that do time trials or triathlons, TT helmets are well known as the best bang for the buck option to improve aerodynamics and reduce race times. The Smith Jetstream TT is Smith's latest TT helmet that allows you to sustain your speed and make every second count. In terms of packaging, it's obviously a very large box due to the size of the helmet. And you have Smith's road graphics printed on top with Smith logo on here. You have more details and sizing on one side and the other side has the basic overview. We have the medium variation here and this is the Jetstream TT and the matte black with the Chromapop lens. We'll go ahead and take it out of the box and go over the specs. So retail price on this is $380, which is obviously quite expensive, but that is because it includes the Chromapop lens as well as a separate clear lens. So you're essentially getting sunglasses and a helmet in one. This is obviously a TT helmet, so optimized for aerodynamics. And it's one of the only helmets in the US market that include the Corode technology. And that's what you see here on the inside, which is unique to Smith and is an alternative to just the EPS foam. You also have a MIPS liner in here for that extra rotational safety. And you can see that liner rotates. You have their vapor fit dial system. So you can see it on the back, which allows you to do 270 degrees of rotation to really dial in the fit, the low weight nylon straps and plastic buckles. What's cool about this helmet is you also get the magnetic visor. So you just get it close, pops into place for the extra aerodynamics. You even get two lenses here, which is really cool. So this is the Chromapop variation, which is a category two. And then you get an additional clear lens here that you can swap in its place for a low light conditions, or if you want to wear standard sunglasses underneath. In terms of what comes with the helmet, obviously you get this really nice hard case. So given the size of this helmet, it's really nice to get this. So it's a zippered hard case, Smith on there. And you even have storage built in directly with the other lenses. And then on the inside, you have some warranty information, a little emergency card. So a pretty nice overall package. Now let's look at the weight of the helmet. We actually have the small version. There's actually a packing mistake. The box says medium, but the helmet is actually small. So the small version, the North American one is 330 grams. It's actually quite, quite light, despite all the extra fairings that you get with the TT helmet. With the visor, this is the Chroma Pop one. I assume the clear one's gonna be almost identical. That is 56 grams. The Jetstream TT is an evolution of Smith's Podium TT helmet, but features a more refined shape, as well as better ventilation. It's also one of the only TT helmets with the Coro technology in the US, which is a pretty cool feature that replaces EPS foam with a straw-like 3D structure that helps in case of an impact. It's available in three different color schemes. We have the matte black version here, which you can see really looks cool. You do have to keep it clean though, as with any matte finish, as it'll show dust or debris on there. It's also available in a gloss white, as well as a cider haze, which adds orange along the edges. You can see on this helmet, there's actually five different vents. Typically TT helmets are almost not vented at all, so they can be very warm. But with this one, they've integrated additional venting. You have the nice open one down the middle, which is something we've seen with their road cycling helmet and really keeps you cool as it directs air right through. You have the corrode covered vents on the side, which help redirect the flow directly at you. And if you look on the inside, you can see where the vents come out. And then the big corrode patch here that replaces a lot of the EPS foam. Along the side fairings, you can see you have these little exhaust vents that help take out the hot air and an opening in the back too. So this will actually let air right through. You get that classic short nosed teardrop style. So you can see it's a nice dome and then cuts off instead of extending a lot further like you see with the uh, previous generation long tail helmets. In terms of aerodynamics, it's really designed to optimize it and make every second count. On the front, you have the visor too, which is really cool. So you can run this with or without the visor. It blends directly in here, which is really nice. And you see these magnets along the front that hold it securely in place. This helmet is essentially a standard road cycling helmet, but with these fairings along the side. So you can see these are just super thin. The helmet and EPS foam stop here, but you have these coverings that almost 
partially cover your ears just to improve the aerodynamics. The visor on here is also very nice. The reason this is so expensive is because you actually get a category two lens instead of just a clear one. And the additional clear lens when you want to ride with your normal sunglasses. This is their Chroma Pop Everyday Mir Red Mirror, category two with 25% VLT. And you can see despite this high curvature, it actually has really crisp, clear optics. You don't have a lot of distortion that you see with really cheap lenses. What's nice about the magnetic design is there's no clips, no hardware, you just get it close, pop it in place, and you can still wear sunglasses underneath or prescription lenses as it sits flush with the exterior. You can see it flares out along the edge for optimal arrow, and then nice and flush along the front. Inside the helmet, you have not only the Koro technology, which again is that almost straw-like material that replaces big patches of the EPS foam, and it's designed to crumple in an accident. You also get the MIPS liner, and you can see nice and flexible. Without the rear, you can see how interesting the uh, actual vapor fit dial system is. It's fully exposed instead of having a shell here. So you have that fairing that just extends out, and then this sits on your head. You have a standard dial to adjust it, and then lightweight nylon straps with these little splitters to easily adjust the side positions. Now let's take a look at the Jetstream TT on the road. It's a really attractive helmet with that aerodynamic shape. So it always looks like you're professional, whether you're just doing a club ride or actually doing a real race, it looks like you're going fast. And because of that, you have that placebo effect. So you ride faster. Now you can actually see here on the close up, the helmet doesn't quite fit us that well. And that's because we have the small side instead of our normal medium due to that shipping mistake. That said, it's still comfortable. It just looks a little bit higher than it should be. And part of our ear actually pokes out, which adds a little bit of noise but otherwise really feels fast. It's a very quiet helmet when you're straight. If you do any side angles, you will get some noise, but at the optimal angles, it's nice and comfortable. The only downside to the helmet is the fact there's not much ventilation. Obviously being an aero helmet, aerodynamic is optimized and airflow is restricted, but as long as you're moving, it is still comfortable. It's certainly warmer than a road cycling helmet, but even on hotter days, it's something you can wear and reap the aerodynamic benefits. We also really like that visor. It's being with the magnetic attachments. It's easy to put on, take off, and you can even wear sunglasses underneath if you have a prescription. Now let's compare the Jetstream TT with other helmets on the market. We have a couple offerings from Smith as well as the new Laser Vento here. Right off the bat here, we have the Smith Trace, which is a road cycling helmet. Same Kuro technology that Smith is known for, but you can see right off the bat, it's a lot more shallow. A standard road helmet is a lot more shallow and sits higher on your head and has more venting. You can see how much vent this has, especially with the blue Kuro. And you can really see the structure here compared to the black. And you can see right through, just like a straw structure. You have the opening in the front, which is a really nice feature, so nothing blocks the air. Same thing on the Jetstream, but just a little bit smaller. But again, you have the, with the TT, you get the additional fairings on the side. Short nose profile that really extends it further back and gives you that aero benefit. There's also aero road cycling helmets like the Ignite that we have here from Smith. This is the cider haze color. You can actually get this on the Jetstream TT. It's almost like a digital camo, very cool looking. So you can see putting these side by side, this is a little more aero, longer sleeker profile, more strategically placed events. So you can see the top is all closed with the main vents and the big opening down the front to funnel air through. A nice compromise between standard road helmet and a TT helmet. But obviously without the fairings and that long extended profile, you're not going to get all the aerodynamic benefits you can get. And you also get the, uh, the visor here with a TT that you don't get with the Ignite. Another interesting aero road helmet is the Vento TT. This is from Laser and this actually uses their kinetic core technology. So if you open this up, instead of having a MIPS liner, they actually have these controlled crumple zones, which is just EPS foam. It's kind of an innovative design and reduces the need for a secondary MIPS liner that we see with the other helmets. It also has a more aero profile. You can see less vents and these concealed side vents that actually go down the middle. But again, it has a much more shallow profile, tapered rear instead of the elongated aero profile. And you don't have the visor, obviously. But if you're doing more road cycling and want something you can wear around town, and on TT events, you could get something like an Aero Road helmet, whether it's from Smith or Laser, 
or if you're doing triathlons and really want to get every second, then something like this Jetstream TT is a great option. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Jetstream TT. What we like about it is that you have an aerodynamic profile. The short nose design really looks great on or off the bike. Smith has also done a really nice job integrating that visor. It's nice and flush with the helmet. They have magnetic attachment points, which makes it really easy to put on or take off. They also include both the clear and tinted lens, so you can use this in low visibility conditions or with prescription lenses if you desired. Some of the cons for the helmet is the fact that it is very expensive. Essentially, you're paying the price of an aero helmet and high quality sunglasses. And speaking of the lenses, they do have some sun reflections at some angles, so if the sun hits you at the side angles, you kind of see some reflections on the inside, which can be a little bit annoying. Taking everything into account, would give the Jetstream TT a 9.1 out of 10. It combines a sleek helmet with really high quality lens. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclists.com, as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclists. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.